It's been a long week, ladies. Let's take care of those hamstrings and glutes. We're going to start with a warm-up. So with the warm-up, I like to be quick with it. Something that gets the body warm, that gets, uh, gets you slightly sweaty. So we're going to start with burpees. Let's do 10. And they don't have to be all the way down either. They can be up into high plank and back. Or you can just step one foot at a time, jump forward. There are many variations to the burpee here. Choose your favorites. We're at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come down into a squat. And for your squat, I want you to think of tracing the knees either towards the middle of the feet or to the outer part. So if you have to push the knees out, use your glutes. Hold, take the arms up or you can place them down for balance. Excellent. Place the hands on the floor and come into a forward fold. Deep breaths in through nose, out through mouth. Come back down into a squat. And you can keep your hands on the floor or place them underneath your feet. Abs super tight. In three, two, one, coming into a forward fold again. Extend the legs, place the pressure on the toes, distributed. And in this forward fold, start adding a little bit into the knees. With your hands, you're gonna hold on to opposite elbows. Feel your head getting heavy and lower and lower towards the floor. Your hamstrings are extending, but still holding on to the movement. In three, two, one, we're gonna let go of the elbows, bring the arms out and come up all the way. Arms go up towards the ceiling. Excellent. So that was our first one right there. Let's go back into those squats out. All right, so this is, called a horse stance, I believe. This is like a wide squat. We're gonna do about 10 of those. So I'll do five facing forward, five facing away. Let's do it. Okay, here, arms can go in front or they can go above. In three, two, one, horse stance. One, as low as you can go. Two, Three, four, and five. All right, moving to the side. You don't have to move to the side, but just to show you here, I have to stay super tight. One, sit into the stretch. We're pushing with the heels, pushing the knees out with the glutes. Three, should feel burning. Four, and then last one we're gonna hold for about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hands down on the floor, toes are pointing forward, extend into a forward fold again. Start bringing your feet closer and closer. Your objective with the forward fold is to diminish the angle between the hip and the tummy area. You're trying to close that up. It's like you're trying to bring your abs toward your, toward your thighs. In three, two, and one. From here, we're gonna go into a 
Oh man, I forgot the name of this, but forward lunge. Yeah, there we go, forward lunge. All right, in your forward lunge, keep your abs super strong, right? So there's no bending in the lower back. From here, we're gonna go and take the hips forward, opening up, in this case, my right hip. So my abs are gonna stay super tight, and I'm gonna go as far as I can go with control. When you find your balance here, pick both arms up and think of sinking down to the floor. Extend your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Push your hips down to the floor. Dig into the front heel. In three, two, one. We're gonna do the other side. So I'll switch. Okay. And now I'm gonna take, my right leg is gonna go forward. My left is gonna stay back. I'm gonna hold on to my core. And first, I'm gonna find my point, my first point of resistance here, which is right here. I'm gonna keep my back glute, um, my back glute contracted for control. When you're ready, lift the arms up, reach for the ceiling. Hips come down, push through the front heel. Three, two, one. We're gonna switch legs and go into the other hip again. So here, forward. This time I want you to place, if your left leg is forward, your right hand's gonna come down right next to your left foot. You're gonna slightly rotate your body out towards that front leg. So you can adjust here too, adjust the placement of your hand. Use your abs. Small rotation here. We're gonna go into an extension of the front leg. So point the toes up of the front leg, extend hamstrings. Hands are gonna to go to the side of the front foot. We're gonna go into pigeon. So this front leg is gonna bend inward. Feet are gonna stay flexed too. So here, foot flexed going to bend inward and you're going to fall right in the center of this stretch. So here, feel free to add a block underneath if you feel like you can't get low in this stretch. And then come down, feel free to come down to the forearms for a deeper stretch. Remember that both sides of the body will always feel a little different. So if you feel like you're able to achieve a very deep stretch with one side, the other side may not be the same, just modify as needed. This is as the purpose of flexibility mobility training, especially when you do like one side at a time, is to hopefully and eventually create balance between both sides. All right, we're gonna bring that leg back and switch over to the other side. So we'll repeat the whole sequence that we did, starting with forward lunge. So we have the right leg forward, it means the left hand's gonna come down to the floor. And then the right arm will come up this way, or you could leave it down on the floor. A little bit of rotation. And this is my tighter side. My left side's always a little, a little bit more resistant to stretching and to mobility. All right, from here, we're gonna extend the front leg, point the toes up, hamstrings. Hold in three, two, one. Bend the front leg inward. Keep your foot flexed. So toes are going to be pointing up. Pigeon. And sit. I'm a little resistant here. Oh, no, no. I'm not too bad, actually. Ha-ha. Yay. In three, two, and one. Excellent. We're gonna come into a 90-90 stretch. Front leg is gonna be at 90. We are gonna be pointed upward, flexed. Back leg is gonna be at 90. And your body's gonna come down towards the front knee for a, for a glute stretch. Start taking your arms out towards your feet.
Excellent. And now we're going to bring that back leg. Try to straighten it out. So let me switch over to this side right here. Boom. So we're at 90-90. This back leg is going to stretch out. And then you're going to try your best to get in the center of that stretch while keeping this leg bent. It's kind of like a half split. Gentle, because it is glute. Three, two, and one. We're going to switch over to the other side and repeat the whole sequence. So here, 90, 90. Body's going to come down to the front knee. Slowly make your way to your toes. Ooh. And then we're going to come up, straighten out the back leg. Hey, okay. There we go. In three, two, and one. Excellent. We're going to come into a straddle stretch. So here, let me give you, I'm going to give you this view right over here. Okay, cool. Straddle stretch. So couple adjustments with this one. You can place a block or a pillow right underneath the glutes. That's going to help you prop up and be able to extend your legs out a little bit more. Push your knees down to the floor and squeeze your glutes. Try your best to just kind of sit straight into this. If you feel a little bit of lower back arching, that's okay. Your objective will be to little by little start bringing those hips forward. Right here, stretched, arms are going up, hold. We're going to bring the right arm down to reach out. And then the top arm is going to go right above our ear and out to the side. Next up, we're going to bring it over to the other side. So now the left arm is going to go towards the left feet. Right arm is going to go right above the ear and out. Three, two, one. We're going to come up. And now slowly walk those hands forward while keeping your back as straight as possible. So again, work at your comfort level. Your feet are going to rotate slightly inward. That's okay. Try your best to use your glutes to push you down into the movement. Oof. There we go. Three, two, one. Come up slowly. Bring the feet together. Let's get into some, I believe this is butterfly, Taylor pose, something like that. Anyways, feet are going to come together. Push your knees down to the floor. Hold on to your feet. And here, you are welcome to curve the spine a little bit over the feet, a little bit a lot, whatever your body gives you. Stay in control of all your movement. Though it's flexibility and mobility, and we're trying to feel like spaghetti, there's always a element of control in everything you do. So this is just to prioritize good movement and avoid any injury. That's it. That's it. Now you're going to come down. At your comfort. When a uh, good modification for this one is to place either blocks or pillows right underneath the legs, just so you don't take your legs into an overextension. From here, we're gonna bring the legs forward. Same thing. Use a prop for underneath the glutes if you feel you're too curved out. I'm gonna sit up as much as possible. Arms are gonna go up first. Let's feel it. First, we're gonna feel it. Abs are tight. We're opening up the chest. The fingertips are reaching for the ceiling, and now they're going to come down towards the toe. So as much as possible, in control. So it's okay if the back rolls out a little bit. Perfectly fine because you're in control, right? Your abs are tight. Your glutes are pushing you down. You're extending forward with your hamstrings. It's all good. Take care of it. Embrace it. Control it. Let's go. Push the knees down. Hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back into butterfly position. 
hold on to the feet. You can bring them close. I think the closer, the more balance you'll find in this um, exercise or movement. Push the knees down, hold on to the feet. Bring your chest forward. You can add a little bit of arch to the spine or you can be nice and straight too. A little bit of straight, a little bit of straight. There we go. Push, 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 push. A little bit of rocking is not bad if you're in control. Three, two, one. We're going to bring the legs forward again. Toes are going to be pointing up. Arms are going to come up. First, embrace the position. We're in control. We have our core strong, our fingertips, power. Do it all. Three, two, one. Come down. Extend. Crown of the head towards the feet. Extend your body. Three, two, one. Excellent. Come down to the floor. I want you to get into a butterfly position. And then you're going to come down and let gravity do its thing here. We're going to hang out here for a bit. What do I mean about gravity doing its thing? You're opening up. You're in control. But you're opening up at the same time. Gravity would just push those legs down. Deep breaths in through nose, out through mouth. Relax the body out. In three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, ladies. That was it. A little bit of stretching, a little bit of mobility for the hips. I'll see you next week.